Hey guys, we are here once again in Imendingen for our latest car check. And today we have the Mercedes AMG EQE 53 SUV. And the first thrilling feature we're gonna test is the race start. quite something. So guys, today we have Cornelius here with us, who's the product manager for this car. So he knows all about the car. We asked you to send in your questions and comments beforehand. And the first question was, do you get this pushback feeling into the seat upon takeoff like in an aircraft? I think it's safe to say, yeah. yes, definitely. Um, you saw that. So Cornelius, can you tell us something about the performance figures for this car? Yeah, the EQE 53 has immense performance figures. You've got up to 505 kilowatts. During the race start with boost, that comes with the AMG Dynamic Plus package. And um, you get an acceleration until 240 kilometers per hour. And of course, it only takes you 3.5 seconds to 100. It's <laughs> very impressive. All right, let's head out and check out the next comment. Let's go. So the next comment is about the boot space. How much can we actually fit in the boot? Plenty of space in the boot, as you can see. But uh, Cornelius, what are the numbers? Yeah, you get up to 520 liters um, with the boot capacity. And if you fold down the rear seats, you get up to 1675 liters. Okay, I mean, as an SUV, as expected, you can put a lot of luggage in there. Next comment from the community is, it's an AMG, so what about agility and acceleration? We covered acceleration earlier with the race start, and that was pretty impressive. But now let's talk about agility. So obviously we have um, the dynamic select switch where we can change the car modes as in all the AMGs. But what else can you tell us about agility and the technical solutions that have been implemented in this car? Yeah, so we've got a lot of uh, technical solutions um, implemented into the car to make it an AMG. But of course, four major ones help with agility. So the first one is the AMG Ride Control Plus, which basically is our air suspension. Okay. And then, for example, if you go with Dynamic Select um, on the steering wheel to the um, driving mode S Plus, you will get a lower ride height um, from the very standstill um, of 50 millimeters. So okay. the car sits lower to the ground. Yeah. Um, secondly, we've got our Formatic Plus system. Formatic Plus means that's fully variable all-wheel drive, mm -hmm. and that obviously always helps mm -hmm. um, with dynamic driving. Um, thirdly, we've got our AMG Active Ride Control, which is our um, electromechanical active roll stabilization. Okay. And that means the car doesn't roll as much anymore if you go through tight corners, and we can experience that in a minute. And then lastly, um, we've got our rear axle steering, and that means we've got a rear axle steering at the rear um, wheels with a um, maximum angle of nine degrees. Okay, so that sounds very impressive. And mm -hmm. if you know, you know your technical in and outs, then uh, all of those things really help the agility. So I'm curious to test it. We have set up some cones here now, so let's give it a try. Turn to S plus, and uh, let's uh, hit the slalom. Okay. Very, yeah, it's <laughs> wet, but still obviously with their formatic plus really helps and yeah. it's very direct and there's very little roll. Yeah. So the body is hardly moving, which is very rare for an SUV. Um, and yet, I would say you can also feel the low center of gravity, which, which really helps as well. So uh, actually very impressive. Yeah, I think all the four things that I, I just said really add up doing the slalom here. Yeah, you can really feel the benefits of all those four key elements you mentioned. Uh, especially in a, in a slalom where those things are key, low center of gravity, uh, low amount of body roll, very precise, direct handling, so really impressive. So next comment from you guys, what is the sound experience like? 
right now I have to say very calm, very relaxing, very quiet. But Cornelius, what can you tell us about the sound experience in this EQE 53? Yeah, we can change that obviously. We've got two sound experiences and with that, with that two sound worlds. And right now we are in authentic. And um, if you want to operate um, the switch on the steering wheel, you can adjust it from balance up to sport. Okay, yeah. yeah. You can definitely hear a difference there, more yeah. dynamic sound. Yeah. And you've got another option um, in the authentic world, which is go for another one, um, which is powerful now. Okay, yeah, another different yeah. sound, more dynamic sound, yeah. yeah, more powerful sound as the name suggests. Yeah, and above that, we do have the second sound world. And if we go to settings and sound experience, we've got the world called performance. And the performance world comes with the AMG Dynamic Plus package, which is available for the 53 as an option. Right, I can already hear it. Yeah. Let's wait for the next straight, an opportunity to accelerate. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. car feels a lot more powerful again, like more grunt, more dynamic, mm -hmm. and a more engaging and emotional sound. Yeah, I guess it's nice to get the feedback of the driving experience also over the years. Absolutely, for me, yeah. that's, it just goes hand in hand, and it goes hand in hand with AMG, to be honest. Yeah, that's what we're aiming for. That was it for today's car check. Cornelius, thank you very much for all your insights. Thanks for having me, Maro. And to you guys, thank you very much for watching. Let us know in the comments below if you have any further questions, and see you next time.